Welcome to Panther Sports, the one-stop shop for all things athletic at High Point University. I'm your host, Travis Woody. Last Tuesday, the High Point University baseball team traveled to Chapel Hill to face the sixth-ranked Tar Heels of North Carolina. High Point starter Jared Avedon only lasted three and a third innings. He allowed five runs on six hits and walked four. The Tar Heels took advantage of some early defensive mistakes and jumped out to a 6-1 lead after the four innings of play. Though the Panthers had ample opportunity to get themselves back in the game, High Point just couldn't capitalize on their scoring opportunities and Carolina would go on to win the game 10-5. The very next day, High Point faced the Phoenix of Elon University. HVU starter Adam Pratson couldn't make it out of the first inning. Elon knocked out Pratson after giving up five runs on three hits. Again, defensive mistakes proved costly for the Panthers. Elon would score the first 12 runs of the ball game before High Point finally pushed some runs across in the ninth inning. The Phoenix would go on to win the game 12-3. Last Friday, the Panthers started a three-game series with the Chanticleers of Coastal Carolina University. Game one proved to be the highlight of the series when High Point and Coastal battled into the 12th inning. High Point's Cody Manzella recorded his first collegiate hit and drove in the game-winning run. High Point would tack on two more for good measure and go on to win the game 8-5. The next day, the Panthers and Chanticleers faced off in a doubleheader. Though High Point's Ryan Retz hit a grand slam in Game 2 and tied the game 7-7, High Point defensive errors continued to plague the Panthers and allowed Coastal to put up nine runs on Panther pitching. The Chanticleers won Game 2 9-7. Game three was the second half of the doubleheader and was all Coastal Carolina. Freshman Ryan Rush went three for five for the Panthers and hit his first career home run, but the Chanticleers got to starter Jacob Newberry and knocked him out after scoring six runs in the fourth inning. Coastal would win the series with the win in the game three, and the final score was Coastal 17, High Point Panthers 7. The Panthers are currently battling the, Mount the Mountaineers of Appalachian State University. High Point is now 23-20 and 20 on the season. The men's outdoor track and field team competed in the conference championship meet this past weekend. Paced by junior Jacob Smith, the Panthers placed third out of 10 teams. This is the highest finish for High Point in nearly a decade. Jacob Smith won both the 3,000 and 5,000 meter steeplechase. Though the school season is ending, some of High Point's best will be competing in regional events with the hopes to qualify for nationals. We wish you the best of luck here from Panther Sports. The women's outdoor track and field team also competed in a conference championship this past weekend. Though the Panthers only finished eighth out of 10 teams, Manika Gamble re regained her crown from the Big South Women's 400 meter championship with a time of 59.56 seconds. Gamble won her fourth consecutive 400 meter championship. She also took second in the 100 meter hurdles. The High Point women's lacrosse team looks very strong and in contention for, to win a second consecutive National Lacrosse Conference Championship. The Lady Panthers played Liberty University as well as Longwood University this past weekend and looked at times unbeatable. Last Friday, High Point tied their season high for goals in a game when they netted 22 against the Flames of Liberty University. Senior Alexis Goldman led the Panthers with a career-high six goals. Mackenzie Carroll and Christy Doherty each scored a hat trick, while Grace Gang and Kelsey Mugel helped the Panthers' cause by scoring two goals each. High Point would go on to win the contest 22-7, continuing their unbeaten conference run. A few days later, the Lady Panthers took on the Lancers of Longwood University. Though the game seemed much closer than the final score shows, High Point battled back and forth with Longwood for the majority of the first half before going on a four-goal run. Netminder Anna Wallingford continued her strong defensive play by making nine saves in the contest. Alexis Goldman nearly repeated her career performance against Liberty by scoring five goals against the Lancers. Christy Doherty had another hat trick while Mackenzie Carroll and Grace Gang each scored two goals. High Point would go on to win the match 19-9 and improve to 8-0 in conference play. The Panthers would finish up the regular season by hosting Davidson for senior night this Saturday at 6 p.m. When we return to Panther Sports, we'll sit down with men's lacrosse player Nick Bittner and see his perspective of next year's inaugural season. We'll be right back. 
High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment with caring people. Our focus is on holistic education, on experiential learning, and on values-based living. The university has been transformed with dozens of new buildings on a beautiful 300-acre campus. With rigorous academics and stellar faculty, we're preparing students to excel in a competitive, demanding global marketplace. That's High Point University. Extraordinary. Welcome back to Panther Sports. With me today is Nick Bittner of the men's lacrosse team. How are you, Nick? Doing well, Travis. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for being here. So one thing we like to do in this show is to get to know the player for more than just what he does on the athletic field. So give us a little, give us a little bit of information about Nick Bittner, the person. Where are right. you from? What's your family life like? Hobbies, stuff like that. Um, I'm Nick Bittner. I'm from uh, Moncton, Maryland. Um, I've played lacrosse since I was like five years old, probably. Um, I have two younger brothers. Um, and I'm, bio I'm a biology major here at High Point University. Um, hobbies, uh, not really that much. Lacrosse. Just lacrosse, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of lacrosse and studying, so. There you go. Well, at least you put studying in there, too. <laughs> I guess that's a good hobby to have. So um, you mentioned that you're a biology major. What made you want to go into biology? Um, it's a biology major, but I, I, I like, uh, I'm interested in the health track or the medical track. I'm a, uh, I've been looking into the physician's assistant program that's developing here. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. So. so is that kind of what you want to do outside of school, like when you're done here at High Point? You yes. You want to get involved in that as well? Yes. Cool. Around here, back home uh, in Maryland? Or? Um, I'll, I'll go anywhere they'll anywhere? take me. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably yeah. a good I'm open-minded. That's so. a good thing right now. <laughs> um, so you say you've been playing lacrosse pretty much your entire life. Yes. Right? So how did you get started? Like, is there, like, Little League lacrosse? Like, there's Little League baseball? What, yes, how, how yeah. I played uh, just for my local rec council, um, five years old. Um, uh, I guess my parents got me started into it, and uh, um, just have played since then. It's, it's real popular in Maryland, so it was just right. the thing to do, you know? Right, so I'm, I'm guessing you probably played in school yes. all the way up. Um, what, what school did you go to? Uh, I went to Hereford High School. Hereford High School, yes. okay. So are they known for the cross? Are they like a powerhouse? Uh, I'd, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. They're, uh, for uh, the public school league in Maryland, they, uh, they do very well. Um, they won the state championship, I believe, the past four years. So. I, I heard, I read a little bit of your bio before uh, we had you in here, and they said that you would help them win some championships while you were there, right? <laughs> yes. Why don't you give us a little bit of information about your, uh, I guess, kind of your resume coming to High Point? From, uh, from high school. Okay, um, I'm a defenseman at, uh, I was a defenseman at Hereford High School. Um, I played on the varsity for three years, so I guess I was part of three state championships. Um, they won my freshman year, but I was not on the team. Gotcha. Um, my senior year, I got voted as a Kelly Award winner, which is, uh, I, I believe it's the best player in the region. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really excited about yeah, that. It yeah, it was up. a big banquet at, uh, Navy, the Naval Academy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, um, and now I'm here at High Point University, so yeah. Were you, uh, were you recruited to come to High Point, or did you come here for the school and then realized, oh, we got, we're going to have lacrosse soon, that's awesome? Um, no, I was, I was recruited here by uh, Coach Torpy, um, and then I got on campus and it was just, <laughs> it was a no-brainer. Right, you know? lacrosse and the campus. Exactly. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Sweet, so, um, so tell us about the team. Uh, obviously, you're coming up on your inaugural season next year. Um, is it, how does a team look to you? Have you had some extra time to go over some training stuff that most teams wouldn't be able to do? Yes. Um, this year has been very different from any other season I've ever played. Uh, I really got to focus on my individual development and, uh, and on uh, strength and conditioning. Uh, Coach Teefee, Coach Rhodes, they do a really good job uh, with us, and I feel that we've made major improvements. Um, both individually and uh, with more focus next fall um, with the team. Awesome. And uh, we actually got to play a couple games. It was, uh, it was interesting to see where we stand uh, with just 19 kids on the team, right. or 18, I believe. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys play next year, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, that's about all the time that we have for today's show. Uh, we thank you for watching. And remember to tune into Panther Sports for all of your High Point University athletics. Good night.